Hi guys, this is Level Crossing Fan here, and we are going to be doing this property, which has a lot of level cross, of a lot of railway infrastructure around it. So I'm going to try look at almost everything. So a lot of this stuff is pretty old. So here we've got a bunch of old railway lanterns, an old clock, got a V line bus stop sign, V line buses. I'm not sure what these here, but here's the warning signs that you should dial before digging. Here's a Geelong station sign. Got a detour wooden sign, an old signal. A lot of old stuff. So this is a really interesting place. I've known the place for four years, even though I haven't been able to look inside because we don't know the people here. I've seen like the crossing signals as we drive by it. Here's a wooden railway crossing sign. Well, a wooden railway crossing ahead sign, which looks like it would have probably been from the um, 1880s and 1900s. Here we've got some more railway lanterns. North Eastern time, North East timetable. So that's for the North East line, going from Melbourne to Sydney. Railway crossing well, so it's McHenry's in Holland teardrop. Yes, we've got signals. No exit sign. You'd see that at train stations, as you're not allowed to go through. Don't know what that is, but got a few more railway lanterns. No telephone. Just no, no wishbone gate, which you'd see on crossings in Melbourne. It's Metro only use these yeah. gates and they don't use the flat ones. And we've got a new G station. And that's a train map in Melbourne. And we've got the word train sign, some old telephones and lanterns. I think we're all done in here now, so we'll come out and have a look. We'll yeah. stop looking out train signs, which you'd see on some pedestrian crossings in Melbourne. Um, oh, I've got to show you this. There's an old wooden railway crossing sign from like the 1880s. We have train sign here. And you'll see whether there's a stop sign which says look at the trains. Another V line bus stop sign. 65 kilometre sign. Stuff like this. And a two track sign here. Then old signal. An old crossing light. I don't know if it's a level crossing light from the olden days. Yeah, um, we've got an old signal. There's a lot of stuff here. We could be here. So. We've got an old wooden railway crossing sign here. The nose boards, upper fern tree, gully sign. These look like they would have come off trains. The brand of them. Oh, here's the Westinghouse Hybrid Bell I saw last night. Yeah, there we go. You can hear it dinging. I'll just show you the Westinghouse logo at the back. I'd definitely like to get one of these from the Level Crossing Removal Authority when they removed the Aviation Road at Level Crossing at Laverton in 2022. Yeah, but that's how you get it to sound. It still sounds quite good, actually. But yeah, that's quite an interesting thing. Oh, here's the teardrop bell I was talking about. So yeah, here's the old, the early cast iron version of the Kensington Hall teardrop bell. Just turn it around. Here's the logo at the back. So yeah, I, Mum actually bit of this for me and we're so far winning on it. So that was on the catalogue of Yarra Valley Auctions. But yeah, we're going to open up now and see what's the inside of it. Just pause the... But here's the little hammer inside. Oh. Gee, it's pretty loud, but yeah, not too loud for me. How did you know that opened? There was a little screw at the back, so I've seen this in YouTube videos, really. But yeah, it's, it's got a pretty loud gong. But yeah, let's screw the knob back on. So you've got a few V-Line notice boards here, you've got a Ballarat Station commuter parking sign. Here's an old hazard triangle warning sign for what like you'd see at a passive crossing. It's even got a three track sign. Oh yeah, here's a level crossing light, which I saw in the catalogue. So it's an unmarked Westinghouse version, because you see it's got no Westinghouse logo on it. Just be careful. I'm being careful. And here are like early Mackenzie and Holland lights. Um, 
fuck it's looking. Wherever the where the Mackenzie and Holland logo is. Might be a bit heavy to lift up actually. Oh yeah, here's a wishbone gate as well. But a Pacific National logo. <laughs> See, we've got a railway crossing sign that has a triangle on top here. It's a bit like one, isn't it? Yeah, but it's got a, like a little symbol that has a triangle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've got steam, like steam train brands of Y138 version. Um, How do you know that? I've seen um, that on steam trains before, I think. So here's a signal here. And we've got a Mackenzie and Holland base at the bottom. And here's an old like 1880s railway crossing sign for old has a triangle at the bottom. Gee, this place is so amazing. Uh, that looks like an old railway lantern. Got an old railway crossing a head sign, and here's a like a railway crossing a head sign for either trains or traffic. I've uh, got two small wishbone gates here. Yeah, I wouldn't need a boom gate really. I'd be happy just to have lights and a bell. For just a, um, a non gated crossing in, if I was to ever get a pair of lights. Coming out here now, we've got a little Learmont station. So, yeah, it's a very tiny little station here. We've got a signal here. So, lights. We've got a Westinghouse cross arm, which is a black one. This one's a silver Westinghouse cross arm. Got Westinghouse lights, which are marked. And these two are silver ones. Got a Westinghouse teardrop bell. This is the Westinghouse Mackenzie and Holland version. But yeah, if I shake the pole. Oh, there we go. I got it to ring. Yeah, so that's it. Like a magician's trick. You may have seen my McClure Street video where I shake the pole to get the teardrop bell sounds. So I always like going to that crossing any time we go to Merivale to about the teardrop bell sounds. Yeah, I'm being careful. So yeah, I wouldn't throw a stone at these bells because I'd probably get in trouble. So we've got a look for train sign here for the pedestrian crossing. Up here we've got a locomotive sign, which you'd see at crossings with stop signs or give way signs. And here's the railway crossing ahead sign with a crossing signal. And just looking around here, nothing too railway stuff. So no railway stuff there, just house appliances. Here's an old signal. Here's a little level crossing up here with a stop sign. So yeah, they're very common these days. Yeah, we've got a relay box. Is this gonna open? Yep, it's gonna open. Might be stuck. Yeah, the relay box was stuck anyway, but here's on the chicken coop or oh no, it's not a chicken coop, it's a bird cage. Got a red background railway crossing sign. Which V line tend to use, but Metro don't because they don't like them. But yeah, this is for the level little level crossing here. So this place is very amazing. I'm really glad I've been finally able to check it out before it all goes on the hammer. Got a little signal here. Another signal there. I'm just gonna come up. Yeah, we've got a 138 kilometre mark. I don't know what that would have been for. Yeah, we've got a whole point junction. It's not attached to anything because there's no point junction around here. Here we've got a little lever. I don't know what that does really. Ah, see, yeah, it's activating like, I think it's meant to activate the signal, but yeah, seems an old signal so it wouldn't work that well. And yeah, I think for the relay box up here, would be to activate that crossing signal, so I'm going to go check. Okay, so I finally got it open, but yeah, just a bunch of like wiring in there, I don't know what it's for though. So let's close it up, this door is pretty stiff. 
and let's move on. Got another signal here. And here looks like a railway crossing a hit sign. Oh yeah. So this is one with T junction. A railway line there. And that's meant to be a telephone box with a whistle post here. That's not a railway thing really, it's just for the house. Got a V-line freight gate sign on that bird cage. Railway crossing head sign with a crossing signal with a hazard triangle below. But yeah, normally you'd see a hazard triangle on top of the railway crossing head sign, not below. Here we've got an old signal, which is just laying on the ground. Another signal there. There's a lever for it. Let's see if we can try it, lift it up. It might be very stiff though. Yeah, I've lifted up one over here. Oh no, I see. Yeah, it's not. Actually, there's a signal which lifts up. I think it's just a lantern, so here, yeah, can't really get it to work. Anyway, I've come down this way now. Got a lot to go through. None. Oh yeah, here's a wigwag. So these, there's still one on the Puffing Billy Railway at Lakeside Station. But yeah, this is quite interesting. If I can get it open. Oh yeah, so you have to lift it up. But yeah, here we've got a Westinghouse base. So yeah, the relay box just had a bunch of wiring in it. But yeah, if I get a pole or a stick really, I could reach that wigwag and make it sound. But I don't know what I'll do yet. Maybe I'll use this metal pole here. I could reach it and get it sound. Oh yeah, there we go, little ring there. So I'll make a separate video soon to show me the sound of the wigwag. But yeah, here we got a lever here, so this is another station. Oh, it's not in place. I've got a signal here for Westinghouse base, which is not bolted on. Yeah, got a lot to go through. This it's really amazing. Oh uh, yeah, so here, and they've got another signal, another signal up there. Here's where the train would be in here, waiting to be taken out for a ride. And here's a signal with a Westinghouse hybrid bell with a Westinghouse cross arm which is bolted the wrong way round and unmarked Westinghouse lights. So yeah, this is pretty interesting of the bells. Don't know if I can get this bell to sound. No jack the wobble off, so. Okay. coming around this way. We're going to tour the minute the little railway now. This is such an interesting place. Oop. Touring the miniature railway. Now a bit of wood here. So that would be a sleeper. But yeah, here's what I've seen when we drive past this place. So yeah, I think this bell's a Western Railroad one. Uh, it's unmarked, I can't really tell, but I think it's Western Railroad bell. I'm not sure though, it's not a safe train. But yeah, we've got a Mackenzie and Holland cross arm and unmarked Mackenzie and Holland light. So those lights actually missing their visors. Oh, we've got to show down here. It's Mackenzie and Holland Base. And here on this signal we've got Mackenzie and Holland Cross Arm. And unmarked Mackenzie and Holland Lights. Mackenzie and Holland Base down here as well. So let's see if we can get this bell to sound. Yeah, I'm going to just leave it. It's a bit hard because it doesn't have a 
gong which goes like this. It's a gong which goes like that. Okay, we've got another signal here. Moving on now, we've got a lot to go through. Now here's a whistle post. But yeah, the line's got getting a bit overgrown. So it's got a bit of trees going around it. Signals, there's a signal there. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you here, there's a little train sign attached. Yeah, here this signal's got a Mackenzie and Holland base. Yes, signal here's got a Mackenzie and Holland lid or something like that. Signal here, Mackenzie and Holland base. Yeah, here's where we started before, but just looking around at the miniature railway there. I don't know yet, but yeah, here's the Leamont station, back where the crossing signal is. Don't know yet. Yeah, got a little junction here, we've got a railway crossing head sign with a road and railway, which you'd see at crossings with giveaway signs. Making my way through now. The whistle post here, and here's a railway crossing. So, railway crossing that has a triangle. Which I don't think there's any left in Victoria now. Arrett and Murrabri line had 14 crossings with has a triangles. Here's a whistle post for 30 kilometres. I think that's what it means. And there's a signal there. Those meant to be like little bells. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can hear a slight little ring in there. This is where the track ends because it's only really a little siding. So coming back up this way. Uh, yeah, I'll get to that. Just turn the railway first. There's a few signs here like an old hazard triangle, railway crossing head sign with road and railway. And an earlier giveaway sign. With a, two levers here. With a Packenham station, Wattle Glen station sign, Fairline bus stop sign, Ballot station sign, Chevron station sign. These look like oil cans. And a Boyer train sign with an old signal. Lots to go through. Okay, here we got on the sh sh bird cage a railway crossing head sign with on side road sign and a railway crossing head sign with locomotive and a triangle on top. And here we've got sleeper parts and some other stuff. We're going to look up here now. Some of the stuff's getting ready for the auction tomorrow. But yeah, here basically I think these are like off trains. We've got a Dandenong Station sign, has a Triangle, Jewel Station sign, Druin Station, Nana Goon, Kui Rup, Rubber Glen, Afflix Bridge, Cooks, Burn, West Grap, Garth, Tyrong, Moribin, Mitcham, and Cunningham Station. We've got a train horn, a bell, I don't think it has a gong in it. Oh no, it does have a gong in it. It's too heavy to lift. Yeah, there's a bunch of other stuff. We've got a bell here. Whoop, that was loud. Pushed it a bit too hard. Here we've got a signal here. To a Kenton Holland base. Some old signals here as well, just lying around in the grass.
there. Coming back to the miniature railway now. Yeah. A, yeah, I'll get to that soon. Jay, there's a lot to go through. Got a little railway crossing here. Miniature signals. Signal there, don't know if I've already shown that. Got an old railway crossing ahead, railway crossing of a hazard triangle. Oh yeah, I think I'm back to where I'm started. But yeah, looking here now, there's a few railway crossing ahead signs. Here's a railway crossing, there's a stop sign and all the train signs. These are what's between Ararat and Windaree. So yeah, and they're all printed onto a black sign. Got a locomotive sign, Freight Victoria sign, another railway crossing ahead sign of the uh, road and railway, Freight Australia sign, a white stop and red signal sign, railway, a road and railway, T junction and railway sign, and train sign. Just so much. And I think we're nearly done touring the miniature railway. Um, not sure if I'm done yet with everything. So yeah, I've got some railway crossing head signs here. One to T junction with a side road with a railway, cross road and a railway, road and railway sign, and a locomotive sign as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and here's this black stop and red signal sign. So these are mostly seen around Melbourne. Um, not sure if that's everything yet. Are you going to get any photos or just video? Just video, really. There's photos on Facebook. Oh, that's true. But anyway, guys, I'm not sure if we're done. Oh, yeah, here's a level crossing warning sign there. But anyway, I think we're all done now, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all later. Bye.